All right, here we are at the end, the final chapter of uh, whatever these people were, Pan Am Manufacturing and their widget contract. All right, um, we've calculated pretty much everything else, um, except we need to take a look at that vacation pay, the holiday pay, and then um, what our total labor costs are gonna be. So let's start with vacation pay. Remember way back when, we said that our 2,250 employees got two weeks vacation, which is nice. And we pay them for 40 hours per week. So if we take uh, 2,250 times two weeks times 40 hours, or 2,250 times 80, what it means is we have 180,000 hours of vacation pay that we have to, to pay out over the course of the next year. At the same time, we also these guys also get some holidays. Uh, they get uh, the 2250, get eight holidays, and we pay them for eight hours per holiday. So we have 2250 times eight days times eight hours, and what we find out is that's another 144,000 hours. And what that gives us is it gives us 324,000 hours that we're gonna pay for that are not production days, but it's still a cost. So what we end up doing is we say the cost of the vacation and holiday pay is at 324,000 hours. And we pay that at regular time at $20 per hour. And so what we come up with is, hey, what the heck, it's another six million $480,000 in vacation and holiday pay. All right, now I think we've accounted for everything. Remember wages at regular rate way back when? That was that whopping $99 million. Then we figured out how much we were gonna have to pay out in overtime premium, because remember we didn't have enough, we didn't have, there weren't enough hours in the day, in the month, in the year in order to do this on regular time. So we were going to incur another nine million, five million, nine hundred and forty thousand dollars in overtime premiums. We also cut that cool deal with our employees for a nice little bonus of ten million five hundred thousand dollars and that was half of the savings that um, we would get from our employees. And then we just calculated another $6,480,000 in vacation and holiday pay. Which means between vacations and overtime and the, and the deal, whoops, and the uh, deal that we cut, cut, cut them, our total payroll is gonna be 121 million nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Glad they're writing that check and not me. This is where most businesses stop and they base their they base their bid on just total gross payroll. What you'll see is down here I've calculated per unit labor costs of a hundred and one dollars and 60 cents. This is based on straight payroll. This is where a lot of employers bidding a job, especially if it's competitive, will actually take a job that's going to cost them money. Um, and it's enough to, to put them out of business. So we figure you got to include payroll taxes. And in this case, what we're going to presume is the employer's payroll taxes are gonna be paid out at a rate of 13%. So I'm gonna take that $121,920,000 and I'm gonna multiply it by 13%. Because what it means is that just on a straight kind of estimation of what my payroll taxes are gonna be, that is going to be a, a huge number going to be $15,849,600. And watch what happens right down here 
whoa, I went from $101 per hour per unit to $114.81 per unit in labor costs. So that's a swing, that's a swing of $13 per unit times 1.2 million units. That's $15 million in under, potentially understated um, labor costs. And in today, any time, but it's particularly in today's economy, I don't know about you, but I can't afford to underbid a contract by $15,600,000. So I hope that this helped. Um, it's a fairly big problem. Uh, not really tough, but just a lot of numbers to crank through. Um, you're probably going to see one like this on your second exam, so I hope this helped. And I will see you guys uh, around the ranch. Have an awesome day.